Hey, what is up YouTube Rules for Rebels here? Good evening, guys. Today we are talking about Shopify. Uh, we're going to be showing you how to block Shopify transactions that exceed a specific dollar amount. So let's just say, for example, you have a Shopify store and you don't want to allow any transaction over $500 to go through, or maybe you don't want to allow any transaction over $1,000 to go through. Shopify itself does not have any feature or settings that allow you to do that or to limit the amount of transactions that can come through. You can, however, do this through your merchant processor. I know for a fact PayPal allows you to do this, and I also know that Authorize.net, which is kind of the payment gateway that pretty much all merchant processing accounts for the most part use, also allows you to do this. So in this specific example, I'm going to be showing you how to do this in Authorize.net. Now, uh, I, I kind of threw together a blog post uh, just to kind of show the images and show you guys how to do this stuff. Um, and I'm sure some of you guys are asking yourself, like, why in the world would somebody want to limit, you know, orders coming in? Like, why would you want to turn away business, right? And uh, I get that a lot of people are busting their butt trying to get business, so it's, it seems silly that somebody would want to turn down business, but there's a number of reasons. Uh, sometimes somebody's merchant account may tell them, hey, we're only going to let you process up to $500 per transaction or, or per person. Um, other times a company may be worried about credit card chargebacks. Some companies may decide that they want to uh, require an ID for purchases over, you know, say $1,500 or whatever. So there's a variety of reasons why somebody would want this done. So uh, I'm going to show you how to do it. It's really easy. You're going to start off by logging into Authorize.net, um, and you're basically going to click this Tools tab right here. And this is from like the main home, home page. Uh, next, we're going to click the Fraud Detection Suite at the top near the arrow on this photo. So let me pull this up. So uh, from our home page, we're going to click Tools, and then we're going to click Fraud Detection Suite. Um, once we do that, it's going to take us into the actual Fraud Detection Suite. And here you can see fraud detections that I've had blocked, you know, um, shipping billing mismatch, transaction IP, etc. And I'll make another video where I talk about these different features and what they are. But specifically today, we're talking about the amount filter. And that's going to allow us to block transactions either under a certain dollar amount, or over a certain dollar amount. So uh, once we click the amount filter, we're taken to a page that looks like this. So we can set a lower limit. So we can say, okay, I don't want any transactions under $5 going through. Or we could set an upper amount. Okay, I don't want any transactions over $999.99 going through. Uh, furthermore, we also have to choose what action we want to be taken on this filter. So if somebody tries placing an order over $1,000, we can just outright decline the transaction. Uh, the next option is we cannot authorize a transaction, but we can hold it for review, uh, which is basically not collecting the money. You would have to then go in and click that you want to allow the transaction, and then it would authorize the transaction. You can also click to basically place those holds on those funds on hold, sort of, and hold it for review, and you can kind of on a case-by-case -case basis decide if you want to fill the order. And then the last option is just, you know, the green flag. You're just allowing transactions. So basically, if you have the green flag checked, your filter is meaningless because it's going to allow the transactions to go through anyway. So, uh, you know, not a ton of stuff to say here today, guys. This is a pretty easy process. I know this is something a number of you guys have asked me about. Um, I know this is something I myself uh, have in place on my website. There's one other issue that I've been struggling with for weeks uh, with Shopify, and I'm, I'm kind of annoyed that Shopify doesn't have a workaround for it. I was on the phone with them uh, for about the past hour this evening uh, trying to get this settled. Basically, uh, if you're somebody who doesn't want to ship to uh, a shipping address, you're only willing to ship to the customer's billing address. So if the customer's billing address is 123 Main Street, you only want to ship to 123 Main Street. You don't want to let people get packages shipped to their work or to their cousin across the country. Um, think about this before you do this because uh, you're, you know, if you're a florist, 99% of your orders are not going to be going to the billing address because people don't order flowers for themselves. But if you're selling like a high dollar item or a high ticket item that you're, you know, there could be risks of credit card chargebacks, fraudulent orders, etc. You're always more protected uh, in terms of winning chargebacks or PayPal cases if you only ship to the billing address. So a lot of people probably only want to ship to a, a customer's billing address. Shopify by default lets the customer select a separate shipping address from the billing address. And there's really no way to block this short of hiring a custom designer. I may try to pay somebody to roll out an app um, to actually do this feature because I feel like it's something that's very needed. If you hop on the internet, there's all types of, uh, let's see, let's see here. Um, how to only ship to billing address Shopify. 
uh, only shipped with the billing address. You know, there's a lot of threads and stuff um, about this very topic. So a lot of people want a feature like that. Unfortunately, Shopify hasn't done anything. Um, I'm going to give them a call tomorrow and, and see if I can just basically put in a request that they do this. I don't think it's going to be done quickly, but I'm getting a little bit off topic. The, the, the feed focus of this is how to block transactions over a certain dollar amount. Um, if any of you guys are wondering how to only ship to the billing address, I'm working on either trying to hire a designer and figure out how to do that, um, or I may even try to roll out an app that does that. But uh, thanks for watching the video, guys. If you have any questions or comments about how to do this, why you would want to do this, etc., feel free to drop the comments in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video, if I taught you something, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not subscribed, and we will catch you on the next video, guys.